Hi, my name is Ryan Redfern, and I am a second year in the art program at Xavier University of Louisiana. For my cinematography project, I really wanted to encapsulate what's it like being a Black woman practicing art on our campus. In order to do this, I partnered with my amazing friend Dejanae for an interview about her experience as a Black artist surrounded by other Black creatives and how that impacts her artwork. Jenkins. I'm from New Orleans East, um, and I'm a junior here at Xavier. What made you decide to go to Xavier? <laughs> well, um, so I went to a diverse middle, diverse high school. Well, no, I went to a predominantly black elementary and middle school, and then I went to a diverse high school, and then kind of during the Trump administration, so from leaving that space, I realized I wanted the community of blackness. And um, Xavier's known for the STEM program, so I wanted to be a dentist. Awesome, and what's it like being a dentist in the art program? Um, well, I think that it's interesting. I just came from doing impressions day of doing like mouth molds. And so it's interesting how some of the skills transfer over of designing, like specifically how to teach shape a book. But I will say it humbles you <laughs> because as STEM, you know, there's not as much like knowledgeability of how difficult it is to be an artist. And so I think that my mind's been open a little bit about exploring other fields. Definitely. And what is it like being surrounded by a lot of black creatives? Um, I do think it's, I think it's calming in a way. Um, I find myself able to relate a lot more to my peers and contemporaries. And so like some of the advice that I've taken from them, it feels it's a little bit easier to take the advice from someone that I know. And then I think in general, when I've learned art previously, it's always been about white artists. Like I don't think I've ever even seen a black like, abstract artist before. And so one, it encourages me to do it because I have some type of role models to kind of look at. And then two, I think it, um, just in general, I like to see how their experiences and their moments are reflected into their artwork and then for me to go ahead and do the same thing in mine. Awesome. And how do you think your experience would be different if you were doing art in a predominantly white classroom? Um, I think there, there wouldn't be as much passion for it. I know with this piece that I'm doing now, don't look at it yet, but <laughs> with this piece in general, it's really based off of my family and my home life and kind of what family means to me. And so a lot of the times I get advice from people in the classroom, they understand that, they know where I'm coming from. And so if I would have went to a white institution, I wouldn't have that much, one, support, and then two, I wouldn't have any examples of black artists and how black people kind of portrayed themselves in their music, um, into their artwork. And so I wouldn't feel as passionate or supportive. Exactly, yeah, I completely understand where you're coming from in that regard. And do you want to talk a little bit about some of the work you've been doing in this class? Um, Let's well, look at some. <laughs> I mean, as I was saying about with the advice and with understanding, obviously it's unfinished. And so you see, like, I had a CD constantly working and constantly fixing it and stuff. And so just one thing, like, as a dentist, that idea, like, just keep working, keep fixing, keep moving forward. And then because I have this space of like everyone's encouraging me, it makes me like want to work on it more and make it better. And so this is so many redone and re and reshots, but it's I'm happy to do it because I have that support. Awesome. And do you think it is difficult to make a name for yourself as a black artist rather than your white counterparts? Um yes, I do. Um as I kind of said earlier, I haven't I've never heard of a black abstract artist before I came to this classroom. Um, a little bit, maybe I should have been looking. But there are, I think the only artist I kind of know about is Basquiat. Um, and so obviously I was happy to that presentation, but there's not really a lot of examples. And then two, I think especially with the art world, it is a lot about who you know and how you get to those spaces and stuff. And so if it's already being controlled by richer white individuals, that kind of keeps being propagated. But one thing I do enjoy about being at Xavier and me and working with this art department is how they've done showcases of black artists and they try and connect you with the different communities and bring meaning to the pieces. So hopefully it's been getting better. Awesome. And my final question is, what advice would you give to up and coming black artists? Um, I think 
like my personal advice for up and coming like artists is just to make something that you enjoy and that actually means something to you. And so it doesn't actually have to be like a big political match. It's like, I think mine here is really about family and about that closeness together because that's something I love and kind of experienced in my life. And so I feel encouraged and emboldened. Like even though there's like a bunch of mistakes and a bunch of problems in it, I want it to be, I want it to look good. I want it to feel good because I'm passionate about what I'm painting. And so though you have those pitfalls and you have those like, well, maybe I might not get the recognition or discovery I want, um, just because you, the simple act of loving to paint what you're doing and enjoying it, I think will propel you to that success that you're looking for. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. No problem. Through my interview with Dejanae, I was able to capture the significance of being a Black person creating in a classroom surrounded by other people of color and how integral this can be in their creative process when they are getting feedback from people who not only look like them, but have had similar experiences. Dejanae expresses how she would not have been able to be as creative and be as expressive if she was in a predominantly white institution practicing art because they don't understand the same life experiences that she's been through, the same family values and things of that nature. And so she's truly able to be herself and produce the best art when she is surrounded by people who look like her, have similar experiences, values and beliefs, and can really challenge her to create her best art where she feels like the feedback is something that she can accept because it's coming from someone who looks like her and who understands what she goes through. And so I really appreciated working with Dejanae and just having my eyes open to what it's like of being a presenting woman of color and having this space where she can come create, where she might not have had the comfortability in at another institution. And so I really appreciate Dejanae and working with this with me and I really appreciate Xavier and having this space where black people can come together and be creative.